What do you think is the most expensive component of an electric car right now? If you believe it's the futuristic tech that brings up the price of an electric car, you're wrong. The most expensive component of EVs today is the battery, but that's all set to change. In this video, we take a look at the new sodium ion battery for electric cars. Stay tuned. Electric cars today are powered by the lithium ion battery. While they are good, manufacturers of EVs see room for improvement. Lithium ion batteries are really expensive. In fact, they determine the prices of electric cars. The reason why lithium ion batteries are so expensive is due to the price of the raw material, lithium. Lithium is a finite resource and there are limited deposits of this metal in the world. The impeding growth of EV sales and the rise in demand is putting the Earth's lithium reserves under stress. In an average car battery, you'll find around 10 kilograms of lithium. Multiply that with an estimated 3 billion cars that will be on the road by 2050 and you'll see the huge squeeze that will be put on the global supply of lithium. Lithium's availability could become a long-term threat to the survival of EVs. It is therefore important we find a much cheaper and easily available alternative to manufacture our batteries. And it looks like we have found an alternative. CATL, a Chinese battery giant using a different approach to building an EV battery. It has substituted the expensive lithium metal with sodium. CATL has made a huge breakthrough in sodium ion batteries after many years of research. What makes sodium suitable is that it's similar in many ways to lithium. Sodium ions shuffle between the cathode and anode, and the only difference is that compared to lithium ions, sodium ions have a larger volume and higher requirement regarding structural stability and the kinetic properties and materials. This has been a major stumbling block for many companies that are also working on sodium ion batteries, but CATL has been able to work around it. The Advantages There are multiple reasons why sodium is a better alternative to lithium in an EV battery. Sodium ion batteries offer superior environmental credential enhanced safety, better raw material costs than lithium ions. In addition, sodium ion batteries also promise strong performance and continuous improvements in density and cycle rate are making the chemistry particularly exciting. Another advantage sodium has is that it is a thousand times more abundantly available than lithium, so there is no immediate risk of the raw material running out. Also, the overall cost of extraction and purification is far less. Generally, sodium ion cells are priced between 30 and 40 percent cheaper. In terms of cathode materials, CATL has applied Prussian white material with a higher specific capacity. The company also redesigned the bulk structure of the material by rearranging the electrons, which solved the problem of rapid capacity fading upon material cycling. In terms of anode materials, CATL has developed a hard carbon material that features a unique porous structure which enables the abundant storage and fast movement of sodium ions and also an outstanding cycle performance. Even with this first-generation CATL is already reporting impressive results. The new battery has the advantage of high energy density. It also charges fast and boasts excellent thermal stability, great low temperature performance and high integration efficiency among others. CATL's sodium ion battery has up to 160 watt hours per kilogram energy density. It can also charge from 0 to 80 in just 15 minutes at room temperature. This will fix one of the major complaints about electric cars. Typically, EVs spend close to an hour to charge the battery, which doesn't go well with a long distance travel where you have to stop multiple times to charge, but a 15 minute charging time is far more manageable. Another significant advantage of the sodium ion battery that CATL is touting is the low temperature performance. EV drivers living in colder places know how much of their driving range cold weather can take. However, CATL says its sodium ion battery has a capacity retention rate of more than 90 percent. In a low temperature environment of minus 20 degrees Celsius, the system integration efficiency can reach more than 80 percent. CATL has also confirmed its sodium ion battery's thermal stability exceeds the national safety requirements for traction batteries, so you can use this first generation of sodium ion batteries in different transportation, electrification scenarios. It can be flexibly adapted to the application needs of all scenarios in the energy storage field. Sodium ion battery manufacturing is also perfectly compatible with the lithium ion battery production equipment and processes and the production lines can be rapidly switched to achieve a high production capacity. CATL has already commenced its industrial deployment of sodium ion batteries and plans to form a basic industrial chain a few months from now. The company is actively engaged in convincing its suppliers and clients to actively promote sodium ion batteries. 
The next generation of sodium ion batteries is already being worked on and CATL is now working on an anode-free metal battery technology. The company filed a patent named Na Metal Battery, electrochemical device in which the metal layer formed on the current collector after the first charging is completed is used in place of the negative electrode. The absence of an anode from the manufacturing process and its creation after the battery is assembled and charged for the first time is a model approach. Sodium ion batteries will soon replace LFP batteries and this is a good thing to make electric cars cheaper. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.